years old. And I'm India, and I'm 10. And, and we, we are from the east coast of Australia. Our parents had a dream to travel the world with us. Going around the world with our sailing boat, Mola Mola. So come on board and explore the world with us. Today we set sail with a new focus. We were headed towards a very special place. A site considered one of the most significant for ancient human history in all of Europe. Papa still doesn't trust our knots. This is the Frank D. Cave. Archaeological evidence shows that this massive cave was used as a shelter by humans for over 35,000 years. Layer by layer, researchers were able to travel back in time to the first inhabitants of the cave 40,000 years ago. The different layers reveal different artefacts. From bones and simple tools to more complex tools and pottery. They found one of them, um, a kid, a dead kid, with pottery next to its head and pottery next to its chest. So this is the bones they found. And it was so much deep. This is the kid. This is the pottery next to its head. And this is how deep it was, 11 meters. It filled it up so no one would fall in it. Well, meanwhile we've been going around here. I've been thinking that was a pen for wild asses and red deer. Wild ass, a type of horse or do donkey. It is so cool that this cave provide so much detail of our past. We just found out that there is one painting in this whole entire cave. but you can't touch it because then the painting would go away. This really is a special place, full of ancient wonders. We found fragments of bones and blades and shells and pottery. I didn't actually think that it would be such an amazing sight. No, I did. I thought it was going to be like having paintings all over the wall. But I didn't see much paintings, only of little people. And, but we found so many amazing things. Like, I can't believe it.
Next, we visited a newly discovered underwater city in Lombayana Bay. Found by accident in 2014. This city was built during the last ice age when the sea level was much lower. I couldn't believe that we were snorkelling over pottery as old or older than the ancient Egyptian pyramids. That just blows your mind off. also found other treasures in this underwater city. Very happy with our day of exploration, we headed back to the boat. Unfortunately, the weather forecast wasn't looking very good. So we needed to leave this special place to find shelter. Headed to Vivari. We just woke up and we found out that there is a load of ash on our boat because of all the wildfires in Greece. and it smells like smoke. Ah. <laughs> this year, Greece experienced some of the worst wildfires ever, with over 125,000 hectares of bushland destroyed. A stark reminder of the impacts of climate change. It is so crazy. And yesterday, we got a call from somebody like a message and everybody got a message because we kept hearing the alarm and it says do not go do not make fires because then it could turn into a big wildfire and if you smell smoke um don't go near it and call um a fire um people immediately yep so it's a little bit scary. To take our minds off the wildfires for a little bit, we decided to do a little bit of underwater exploring.
Just kidding. What we found was a very cute, tiny triggerfish. Papa was wondering about the large pits in the sand we had seen while snorkeling. They reminded him of triggerfish courting pits he had seen on the Great Barrier Reef. But we had no idea that we could find triggerfish in Greece. And here was one seeking shelter under our boat. This is the Mediterranean grey triggerfish. We were so excited to see this little fish. But as you can see, it wasn't as excited as we were. So we played hide and seek with it for a little while under the boat. And then we let it be. After a few days sitting out the bad weather, we moved on to a nice little bay on the eastern Peloponnese. Luckily for us, this bay had many wonderful things to discover underwater. excited to see a moray eel but the first time we were a little scared because they look a bit threatening with their mouth open but we learnt that because they don't have gill covers like most fish they need to breathe water through their mouth over their gills so it's all rather innocent when you know what's actually going on and then we saw our first cuttlefish in Greece, another member of the cephalopods. Cephalopod means head foot in Greek. Basically, these animals have their feet coming straight out of their head. Weird, huh? Octopus, squid, cuttlefish and nautilus are all cephalopods. A group of animals that evolved 530 million years ago long before the dinosaurs roamed Earth. It's amazing how these animals can shapeshift and change colour to camouflage. We felt very lucky to be able to spend some time with such a spectacular animal. Off to our next destination. Come on, we'll just land it on you. Butterfly. Ah, nice. Stay in here. The butterfly has a hole in its wing. Oh yeah, and it's broken. Mm. Indy is going to rescue this butterfly right through the port. But we we're going to a port because it's on land. Andy's putting it under here so we get some wind and also so it doesn't get too much wind to fly off. She's eating. We got her to eat. This is so, so cool.
Because we drew a flower, some honey on there. So amazing. And now she moved ahead to get the rest of the honey. If you like this video, subscribe below. Join us next week for when we take a great leap.